Hello again viewers and greetings fellow space travelers, this is Thorn of Night and welcome to episode 20 of my Magic Farm Let's Play series. And since it is episode 20, what that also means is after I have finished recording this and when I go to upload it, I will also have the current map uh, as of the end of this episode, plus maybe a little finishing touches, uh, available for download so you can take a look at what I've done and uh, go explore yourself. Uh, not a, a, a nearly as much has changed as I would have hoped between the episode 10 upload and this one because of the updates and having to play catch up, but I am still trying to stay on top of things. But... I'm over here at my uh, oh, manual farm because it would appear that you can't get any more saplings out of a, a grown cotton plant. I busted it down a couple of times and I'm only just getting the one seed. Maybe I will eventually be able to get more seeds, but I'm not sure. So if I want to fill up this row, I'm going to have to go on a seed gathering expedition. Which, of course, means that in the process of doing so, I'm going to get a bunch of that gobbledygook, but that's okay. In today's episode, I am planning on doing a couple of things. One is because of how much ore I am producing down in the quarry, I am going to have to... If I want the smeltery to process it well, I'm going to have to uh, make this a, a good deal taller because right now it can only hold, let's see here, 27 blocks of ore or 27 of anything. Uh, and that's not going to be copacetic for, for dealing with large quantities of this. Also, I have an interesting idea for the uh, the output on this, but I'm not sure if I if it's going to work quite right. I have uh, in a uh, a test world on that I was trying to play with a bunch of uh, different t uh, burnout timers for redstone. Uh, like if you have too much of a redstone signal, all at once it just goes stop. And then it, it doesn't do anything for minutes at a time sometimes. However, in one of these trials, I realized that by adjusting a redstone repeater, well, adding one and then adjusting one, I could make a timer that could be toggled on and off and was not a burnout timer. So I'm going to have to tinker with that, but it involves a little repositioning of everything that I have here. So that'll have to be once I get everything set up. And also, uh, I'm probably going to wait until my quarry is done before I focus on that. But I do want to try to at least start getting some resources to make this a towering monument to industry there. Well, pseudo-industry. But... That's not the main thing I want to try to get started today. I need to start working on Thumbcraft. And I had said that it is going to be coming over this way here. And I only have two torches on me. Yep, I think that's... Yep, two torches. So I'm going to need to make some more torches. But this is going to be the... Thumbcraft Outpost. It's a little bit farther away from my my main house than I had originally planned. I had actually originally planned on putting it up on that hill there, but uh, I, I figured that that would be too close, and I didn't want to be getting attacked by wisps all the time over in my main house. So I figure having it over across from the nether structure would uh, would be a little bit better idea and it's on the other side of the wall so uh, if 
I'm over there. I don't have to deal with seeing or being seen by the wisps nearly as much. But I'm going to have to clear some trees out. So I want you guys to see this thing in action. We've got a fir tree here. And, oh good, I'm not out of food. Excellent. And yes, I do still need to go get some jungle saplings from somewhere. I'll figure that out in the future. Uh, but first off, let's chop this bad boy down. And all those logs come down all at once. That is just wonderful. I'm going to do the same thing for these so I can clear out the little pathway that I'm going to make. Oh, that just is awesome. Da, 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 da. Plunk. It doesn't work on the leaves. That's all right, though. And then I just have to wait around for a whole bunch of saplings to migrate their way to the ground as the tree dissolves. Actually, I might make this building a little bit bigger. Hmm. Yeah. You have to go, sir. And probably you as well. If I don't end up doing something over here that way then I have more fur logs whatever let's see here nah, nah, nah. it doesn't need to be too huge it's going to come up here to a landing and it is going to be too wide for an entrance because I want the uh, uh, what's it called infusion table infusion altar something like that I want that to be kind of in the middle so using that as a center thing, since it's too wide, I'm going to need a too wide entrance for it to be equally centered. That's all right. Now what's this? Dying sapling. I'm going to have to really start focusing on the bees and the trees if I want to get anywhere with that. Because uh, there, there's a lot to cover. But I'm going to go ahead and... <clears throat> <laughs> choke on my own words. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and take care of these. Get a little bit more moss. Ta-da! And let's see here. Is that... Uh, that's not really going to be in the way because I'm going to have the pass come up here. Alright, that'll work. Then I just have to level this out a little bit. or Or make it more of a... Uh, smooth slope and uh, then I can start laying out the actual structure for the thumbcraft building so I'm going to wait for the rest of these trees to disintegrate and dissolve and all that and then I will be back hopefully with a plan for the building all right I'm back and I have uh, gathered the saplings and all that but before I do all this digging I did want to pop this on camera so you saw how it got there. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, ball of moss on my shovel so I can continue using it without it going clunk and me having to keep feeding iron at it. Also, yeah, one other sad thing about the whole update situation is I was planning on using some quarried stone, maybe some abyssal stone for some of the brickwork of the Thom building, and I just recalled that. So I was looking at these bricks over here for the different options that there are, and it's there. There are some white ones, and I can use the the iron bricks I can do that or I can just make colored bricks but that's not really white enough for what I was wanting um, could go snow wait what's paved stone oh that's not really light enough though what I was thinking was Using these obsidian bricks, and there are two different kinds. This here is bricks with four obsidian, like vanilla bricks with vanilla obsidian. And this is obsidian that uses a Tinker's ch Construct chisel on it to make this. And I kind of dig that color, but I was also looking at this, the fancy obsidian brick. So I might be doing some of that for some of the highlights, but also... I was looking at 
amber bricks. And I am producing a lot of amber, and there really isn't a use, for me anyway, for amber. I mean, I can get the that shackle symbol off of it. Uh, let's see here. Do, do, do. Yeah, four of them from one amber. But the plant and the crystal, I can get the crystal from glass, and I can get the, the, the plant from plants. And the shackles, I can get that from a couple other things, I think. But, uh... I was also looking at the ice bricks, but I, I think that might have to wait until I can hopefully get some silk touch on a pickaxe so I can harvest the ice. And I don't want to waste my levels on that just yet. Speaking of wasting my levels, I, I really can't wait until my quarry gets down to diamond level so I can get some more diamonds and make an enchanting table because uh, that sticking at level 30 for the last couple episodes or right around and having all this additional experience and bottles over here well tanks um, it, it makes me nervous and I would much rather toss it on some armor than just let it sit there so I'm probably going to hop down and make some uh, additional mining efforts and try to get some more diamonds because I have used them for making the quarry. What time is it? Oh boy. Um, the amber bricks are going to be used sparingly, but I, I think they would look nice with that sort of uh, the bluish purplish tinge to the fancy obsidian there. I don't know how they look in uh, placed in the world, but I must imagine they look at least as sharp as they do in this little icon. Also, let's see here. Where was it? No, it's sky stone. Sky stone. Oh, right. I could wait until I do that, but I have to get to the end before I can do that. Um, excuse me? What just... I just heard damage. D did you just hear damage? I heard damage and I watched something flip by. <gasps> Is that a butterfly? Um, um, do I have a scoop? I have a scoop. Um, 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 um. Come here, come here, come here, hey, come here, no, don't fly away, get, get, eh, no, come down, hey, hey, no, I, hey, don't make me fall, oh, eh, okay, where'd you go, please tell me you're going this way, no, you're not, where'd you go? I am going to have to dirt up onto this tree, I think. Where's the butterfly? Where is it? I just saw it. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Scream at me. Do whatever that damage sound was before. Where? Where did you go? Hello? Hello? Don't tell me you despawned. Are you under here somewhere? Get the scoop out. Um. Um. Please don't despawn like that. Don't tantalize me. Are you in here? No. I don't see it. Where did it go? Where did you go? Are you over here? No. Yes, I know. 
There was a butterfly. What was that? That's a cow. Oh man. I don't it just disappeared. Oh, that's just not right. Look around here one more time. It went right past the window. I don't see it. Okay. Well, I totally forgot what I was talking about. The bricks. Yes, the bricks. Oops. Let's get inside where it's safe. Uh, ah! I left my door open. Whoops. That butterfly. Bummer, man. Anyway, the bricks. So yeah, uh, the amber it can be used for for thumb craft and I think for a couple of other recipes. Let's let's look that up real quick. Usage. Okay, thaumaturge's backpack and amber blocks. Okay, well then, yeah, I'll be using the amber for decoration, and I I have gotten a reasonable amount of it from the quarry. Not a whole lot, but a reasonable amount. So I can just go ahead and spend it on that. Man, that butterfly disappearing. That was a bummer. Anyway, I'm going to... I guess... I guess I'll just go ahead and get a chisel. And make it uh, auto repair on that as well so I can keep using the same one and I will go get some I think I've got some obsidian dug up by the quarry so why don't I go ahead and get the supplies together that I need for making the bricks and uh, go ahead and clear out the area oh as you can see the shovel has repaired to full strength so that's nice uh, the Auto, rep yeah, auto repair does not stack, so you can't have uber auto repair. It's just, it'll slowly do it over time. But anyway, I'm going to get the supplies that I need. What's this? Bone brick. Oh. Now there's a thought. Ooh, that would look really neat around the amber, wouldn't it? Okay, I'm going to have to do that too. Fancy gold brick. One other thing I wanted to look up. That's what it was. Usages for iron bricks. Can I make slabs? No. I was hoping I could make a, a metal roof out of that. Oh, well. So I am going to get the supplies that I need and go ahead and start uh, clearing out the area and all that. And then I will be right back after that disappointing scene of me trying to fruitlessly chase after an elusive butterfly. So I'll talk to you in a minute and mope off camera. Alright, I'm back and I have crafted the, or I've smelted the iron. Gotten some bits of iron in there. I think this is empty. Yes. And it is time to make the chisel. Da -da, da -da, ta -da. Now let's put it in here and give it, oh. Um, I need to do this. Da, da, da. Ball of moss. There. Auto repair chisel. Excellent. Now what's the durability? Durability on that, not so high, but that's okay. Uh, I can add things to it to make it more durable, and I won't really be using it all that much. I did go ahead and grab... All the obsidian there was there because, uh, well, I don't know how much I'm going to want to use 
for the structure. I don't know if I'm... I don't think I'm going to make it overwhelmingly obsidian, so I'm probably going to use uh, just regular stone. Might even toss some wood on there. But uh, I am going to go ahead and craft the amber into the blocks like this and make some amber bricks out of it or should I just leave it as amber blocks huh let's see what that looks like on the ground oh oh that would be ruined by having a line through it I'm glad I stopped all right now this and this and ta-da and then if I do this I will get some of those. So I will go ahead and throw that on the ground. Excellent. And do this to make the obsidian bricks again. Now, I do not have a diamond pickaxe anymore. Uh, I used it for making the quarry. So I am not going to place this until I know for sure it's going to be in the right spot. So I'm going to have to go lay that out. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and make a few more of these mossy stones or moss stones. So I can put auto repair on a couple of the things, namely my pickaxe. So let's, uh, oh, I need to do this. There we go. So I still need three more of those, but that's easy enough to come by. And I'll put this in here. Give it that. There we go. Wish you could uh, use the scoop in there. That would be nice. But what was the other thing I wanted to look at? Um, oh, right. This. Bone bricks. First, let's see how that looks. And then let's see... How much of an ordeal it is to dig it back up. Oh, let's place this next to it. Oh, yeah. I like that. All right, let's dig this up. I get the bricks back. Marvelous. So I have 30 amber uh, blocks to work with. And I'm going to have to start strategically uh, figure out where they're going to go. Oh, I might have a little bit more amber. I'll just stay in here. Yep, this is a good idea. Stay in here and record all night. Anyway, um, I'm going to wait for morning and go kill anything that might be out there. And I will hopefully be able to get some more bones. Uh, I, I'm I think I know what I'm going to do with these immediately, but I have some interesting ideas for additional placement that I might have some placeholders to take the place of the bone bricks. But I will wait for morning, and then we can go lay out the, uh, the Thumbcraft building. So I'll be right back when it's morning. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I have laid out the area where I want the the basic structure for my Thongcraft building, laid out the area for it. And that in the center is going to be where the infusion table, I think that's what it's called, is going to go. Uh, I'm going to have some other various things uh, on just inside the doorway, the research table and all that. But before I do anything else, I'm going to, well, let's see here. Yes, I have that. I'm going to place this guy down and make... I'm missing something. Ah! Um... Did I get one from the nether? Let's go find out. I need a gold nugget. Let me in. Yes! Gold nugget, excellent. Okay, I do need to make a road and I really ought to get myself some torches. 
but uh, I can kind of live without for now. That's the awesome thing about this uh, craft. What's what's it called? The crafting table thing uh, from Tinker's Construct is the things that you put in stay in. But I need a wand of the apprentice, and it is charging. Excellent. I also am going to need some books. Three of those. And a bookcase. Excellent. And while I'm in here, I will need three of these guys. So let's go ahead and place that down there and those there. Get them out of the way. And I will place this guy here and twack it with the wand to get the Thaumonomicon. Uh, I don't really need it right now. So I will go ahead and put that in a chest. I do need to do this. Whack. Now I've got the uh, arcane work table, I think is what it's called. And the wand is in there, fully charged. That's awesome. And now I need to get... Oh, uh, what's it called? Um, inkwell? No. Scribing tools, maybe? Aha! Scraping tools. I need a glass. I have a glass bottle somewhere. Feather and an ink sack. So let's... Uh, well, I don't really need that immediately. I am going to go ahead and lay out the base here. First things first. This awesome bone brick. This is splendid that is a nice doorway i like it all right uh next thing is i need to get rid of these guys and lay the foundation now this isn't going to be all of my thumbcraft building just this little square here i'm going to go up with it but uh this is a start, so let's see here. I'll need these also. But first, let's lay the base. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is sharp. Goes to there. Have to be kind of careful how I place these. I don't want to... Put them in the wrong spot. They are made of obsidian, after all. Alright, next up, I'm going to want a an amber block there, there. One, two, th three, one, two, well, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so I'll put it there and there. Those. That looks good. All right, now the ornate obsidian. Oh, look at that. It's a little busy, but that looks nice. Uh-oh, need to hurry up. Uh, da -da -da -da. Placing the blocks, placing the blocks. Okay, and then I'll have one more layer of obsidian. Actually, I'm going to go sleep. <laughs> and probably find a feather and an ink sack on the way back. And the glass bottle. Because I need those for making the research table. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. I need to make some food. There's some food. Now, where did I have that glass bottle? Was it in here? No. I need to finish this, too. Down here. No. Ooh, more amber. 
I'll go ahead and get that. There. Any other ember? Up there. Ah, uh, that can wait. I'll find it eventually. I need to eat while I'm running. Um... Where was the glass bottle? I think it might have been in here. Let's find out. Nope. That's enough food for now. I can sprint with that. In here? There it is. Uh, an ink sack and a feather. Excellent. Oh, there's some more amber. Um, da -da. put the rest in here, didn't I? Nope. I guess it was it. Let's leave them both open. All right. I need to do this, this, and this. I don't think what matters is the orientation. Nope. Let's go ahead and make the writing desk or the research table writing desk. That's something else. Two of these tables next to each other. Smack it with scribing tools and you get this. And I'll be getting into that later, but for now let's uh, let's finish this up a little bit. Anyway. Okay, right, and done with that. Now the next layer up, I think what I'm going to do is, well, right there will be some more of that. I think the next layer up is going to be possibly, well, let's see here. Um, hmm. I don't want it to be a real bold color like that. Uh, I don't really like the nether. Wait a minute. Is this fur? That's fur. How does this look? Uh, put it there. Plunk. I'll put a couple of them. How does that look? Yeah, I'll toss another one up there. Uh, uh. Hmm. Wood might like look nice there, but not fur. I need something a little bit more zingy. So I might have the fur there as just a placeholder. Huh. That's something to think about. Oh, oh. Now there's a thought. Let's see here. I could. Uh, let's see here. Could go for the woodworker and make some of these things. Hey, now that's a thought. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just place wood there for now and reserve it for these. Ha, huh, there's a creeper wooden tile. Yeah, that that's an option. Okay, that's what I'll do. So that answers that, but I I will need some light and I will need a roof in here. So that'll have to be another priority. So let me go get some more wood and make finish off that layer here and just toss a temporary ceiling in because I'm going to be doing something interesting with the uh, floors in here. So I'll be right back. 
Okay guys, I'm back. I've got some fur and I went and looked at the time and it looks like I'm going to have to just go ahead and wrap up here. So I'm just going to place this real quick and go ahead and finish off the episode. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I, I hope I have entertained you sufficiently. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions or uh, you saw where that butterfly went to and want to kick me in the pants for missing it, please leave a message in the comment section below. I am more than happy to try to answer you guys' comments. Uh, if you like this video and you like what I'm doing here, please feel free to give a like. I do appreciate that. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you know when my future stuff comes out. But this is definitely where I'm going to have to wrap up. So thank you once again for watching. This is Thorn of Night, and I will talk to you later.